Hi there, so it's um, 9.25 um, Wednesday morning if anyone wants to know and it's the day of one of my students so I thought I'll give you an insight into how I am on the day of the driving test. So a quick chat about what's happening with the student. She's not passed the first test about eight, nine weeks ago and um, we worked on the mistakes. I won't go on about what the mistakes were but we worked on them and she's fine. It was nerves causing a problem making a rush and um, <clears throat> rebooked a test and it was for January I think it was a test then which is miles away anyway last night got a phone call off her mum she's got a test for today can she take it yeah of course we've been waiting for that sort of thing we've been looking for an early test because to get herself back in there and a the test is at 2.30 this afternoon I'm oh, sorry 3.30 this afternoon that's the last test of the day it is and um, I just thought I'd just give you an insight to how, how I feel. Now, uh, I'm not expecting any phone calls from her, but sometimes I get that. I've got this morning. I'm not worried about taking the driving test. I'm expecting her to pass. Obviously, there's that option she might pa not pass because that's how they handle it on the day. But uh, she's been definitely driving really well the last few weeks leading up to a driving test. And um, this is what we're waiting for, really. So I've got my first lesson. After the first lesson, I'll give you an update how I feel, if I'm feeling any different, if I've had a phone call from her or a text message telling me that she's feeling nervous, because that sometimes happens, and we'll see what happens with her. I've just finished the first lesson. It's now 9, 10.35. <laughs> I'm getting the hours mixed up again. Yeah, 10.35, and I'm, I'm on the way to the next lesson, and then I've got my lunch, and then I've got the girl for the driving test i've not heard anything from her which is a good news she's actually at work at the moment which is also a great thing because it's going to keep her mind on work rather than worried about the driving test so if you get the option to to, to if you've got a, le a test in the afternoon and um you've got options to work or college then take it and that way you can keep, keep an eye on other things rather than thinking about the driving test all the time and the way i feel about driving test at the moment is exactly how i felt this morning i don't feel worried uh, obviously, uh, what I want to pass, because it's good for me, it's on my record that they pass. If they don't pass, it's on my record still. And you invest a lot of time in that, that student. Every student I help, I help them to try and be a good, safe driver. And when they pass, I'm really happy for them. And I'm like, you're on your way, enjoy the rest of your life and be safe. And when they don't pass, it's not upsetting for me. But it's it's more a niggle. It's like oh, they've not passed, kind of thing, and it's a, a little bit annoying. Not 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 at the student, but the fact that a mistake's happened. But it's also a challenge at the same time. Then to kind of work on the mistakes, get them better, improve them, and um, get them ready for the next test. Obviously, because of the waiting time between tests and the fact that getting a driving test is quite hard that's the the bit i don't like and i think the dvsa need to kind of sort that out to make it easier for everyone because if someone fa fails a driving test and you log on the system and it says you, you unfortunately you, you fail your test you get the email and it's saying t 10 working days for you can take a retest I mean, you've got to be pretty quick to get yourself in 10 working days because trying to find a test is quite hard. Anyway, I'm rabbiting on about other things. <laughs> so, yeah, I feel fine. I've heard nothing from the student, so I'm assuming she's feeling fine. I've already messaged her last night saying, don't forget to bring your provisional licence to your lesson because I'm going to pick her up from work rather than home this day because obviously she's, if she's coming out of work. I'm, I'm assuming I'll drop her back off at work at the end. So let's get on with the next lesson and um, I'll see how I feel after that if there's anything different. I just finished the last lesson for lunch. It's now 12.20 and um, I've heard nothing from my student. I'll, I'll message her in about an hour, just tell her I'm gonna pick her up outside work and um, we'll see how we get on. I'm feeling fine, still quite confident, which, which I, I normally am because like I say, um, I don't tend to get nervous about my students taking driving tests. Um, obviously, when they're on the driving test, I'll tell you how I feel then. I'll do a quick video when they're on the driving test at the same time. If you're liking what I'm doing, by the way, and you want to give it a thumbs up, or you want to comment or share the video, that's fine too. Because um, it's just to give you an insight how me, as an instructor, feels. Now, obviously, there's different instructors out there. I would have thought most of them were going to feel like me. 
where they're going to feel quite relaxed about it because if they're not relaxed and they're getting all stressed then they should be saying so why are they taking them for the test maybe they're getting stressed over something else i don't know rabbit in again aren't i so i'll, I'll turn the video off and um next time i'll speak to you it'll be just before she starts a lesson so it's 20 past two we've got 10 minutes for a pick this girl up for us for an hour for a driving test and um, i'm feeling fine as, as i always do uh, so i thought i'll let you know what's going to probably happen on that hour because we're not going to film it because it's not about the students about what happens how i feel and so on and um, usually it'll be i'll be asked the person how they're feeling what do they want to cover on the driving test uh, on that hour before the driving test if they come along and say they want to do this 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 and loads of stuff it'll be well let's just go to one or two things because that hour is not an intense hard hour we don't want to burn the person out we want to save the energy for the driving test so if if, if that person says i want to do all four maneuvers i was looking at it thinking well one maneuver you can do in a test center when you reverse into the par parking space will do your weakest maneuver on the road somewhere and a little bit of driving around a couple of roundabouts a couple of junctions a little bit of driving in the test center just to familiarize yourself with some of the roads that's what it's basically going to be and go through the questions 10 minutes for the driving test and if the person has a bit of a panic because they're making a few mistakes just I'll be reassuring them that they can drive and not to worry about um, the driving test because even if it's your second test or your third or your fourth or whatever test number you're on these are still going to be a bit of stress there for you and you want someone next to you whether your instructor or your family member to just reassure you that you can drive you've been driving really well for that uh, x amount of weeks leading up to it and that's what i'll be doing i'll be i'll be reassuring that person that they're fine now, when they're on the driving test, I'll, I'll do you an update how, how they get on in that hour and how I'm feeling while they're on the driving test, okay? So stay tuned. Students just gone out on the driving test. I'm uh, quite pleased. We had an hour before the test. It went really well, actually. I was, we'd done reverse bay parking, parallel parking, and obviously a bit of driving around, some mini roundabouts, but nothing too tricky. Kept it nice and simple. She's quite confident. She's quite pleased with how things are going and um, the strange thing is when the examiner came out of the waiting room asking her it's the same examiner as the first driving test so she said to me it's my first examiner so i said don't worry about it at least you know what to expect so that could be a good thing so i wish the best of luck she's on her own now it's up to her how she drives and we'll see what happens hopefully it's a pass you can never guarantee anything um, i'll tell you how she gets on um, at the end of it and um, I'll tell you what faults if she's got any faults what they were whether they're serious faults or whether minor faults hopefully it's going to be a pass because like I say she drove quite well and she's been driving quite well leading up to this so we'll see what happens myself I feel quite fine I feel quite chilled about it I'm not too worried um, I say it's not me taking the test but um, I'm not worried that, um, that if she's going to fail because I'm expecting it to pass it's good news she's passed there's a picture you can see it there now um shoved to bits she is I, i'm pleased because um i, I kind of knew she was going to pass and sometimes I, I mentioned on the previous video that sh the same examiner i sometimes think that's a, it's a good omen when that happens because it can put your mind at ease and um she's come back i think she wasn't first back she was one of the first to leave but one of the first back which meant that she's not rushing around and that kind of reflected actually in her faults and the examiner says you passed but you've got some faults he said and he starts going about she's going a little bit slow on on some of the roads not slow enough to be problems but he said that you need to keep an eye on your speed um and um afterwards i spoke to her about it I said, so what why are you going slow i want to be cautious she said i wanted to make sure that um i didn't get a that serious for speeding or doing something stupid so she'd be over cautious but it worked out all right for her because she knows that she can drive better than that and at the same time when she was on the roads there was at least two or three incidents where other drivers were doing things wrong around her and she had to quickly react to them so it gave her a bit more time so it kind of worked out right for her so i'm pleased she's chuffed she's Back, she's back at work now she's i think she's going out celebrating tonight and um i'll just go through my list now and pick out something else to, to replace her spot 
In the meantime, I'm going to record the fault she's had on a, on a record that I have so that I can analyse because it's a learning thing for me if, to, to make sure that any faults that happen on her test don't happen on the next test so I can kind of keep improving. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video by the way. If you have, fantastic. If you want to see more videos that are slightly different like this, then put a comment below. Feel free to share the video. Safe driving everybody. If you've got your test coming up or you've had your test, be safe on the roads.